Hello YouTube, should you register for VAT? So I can't really give advice, I'm not qualified to give you advice. But I can tell you what I've done, and I have registered for VAT now, I'm operating as a sole trader, and I was very hesitant to register for VAT because of this extra level of administration and peering down from above of the authorities, so I was resistant to do it. But my pal Phil, who's also a courier driver, I said, look, Neil, do the flat rate scheme. It could work out very well uh, for you. So, yeah, OK, so I looked at the flat rate scheme and I spoke to my accountant. And she had said, you need to do a SANIC check. You need to work out what the benefit will be for you. So let's say there's two types of VAT, full fat VAT, as I would call it, and the flat rate scheme. So I've recorded on the flat rate scheme. But before we get there, we need to understand full fat VAT, and that is total sales or services, or your total invoices, plus 20%. So let's say, for example, your business invoiced in the last 12 months £40,000, and you were VAT registered. Well, you would charge out at 20%, so you would have charged £48,000. Now, that £8,000 you actually owe to the VAT man. It's his. You've collected it on his behalf. And some people really don't like doing that. But the benefit would be the VAT on your fuel, the VAT on, say, a hotel stay, the VAT on servicing, the VAT on tyres would all be reclaimable. But it is quite a lot of hassle. The paperwork's a bit of a pain. So back in whenever, 2000 and something or other, they brought out the flat rate scheme, specifically for smaller businesses operating under, don't quote me, I think it's under £125,000 a year, you can charge VAT at 20% and retain 10% for yourself. So what does that mean? Well, as my pal Phil explained to me when I was being all hesitant about it, and thank you, Phil, um, he said, if I do a job for £100 and you do a job for £100, I'm VAT registered, I charge the £100 plus the 20% VAT, £120. So he receives a cheque for £120, I receive a cheque for £100. But he's on the flat rate scheme, which means he then sends the VAT man 10% of that £120. So he has charged £120, he receives £120 from the customer, and he keeps £108. Oh, why £108? It's because he has to send 10% of the full amount to the VAT man. So he has to send 10% of £120 to the VAT man, which is £12, so he keeps eight. So effectively, we've both done the same job, we've done the same miles, we've used the same fuel, he gets eight pounds more than me. So how would that work in terms of a sanity check for your business? So you would take your total sales, let's say your total sales were £40,000. That would mean you would charge £40,000 plus VAT, £48,000, and that would then mean 10% of that £48,000 you would send to the VAT man. So you would send the VAT man £4,800, keeping £3,200 for yourself. Now, the sanity check only works if your total reclaimable VAT expenses are in your benefit in this case. So, let's say the total reclaimable VAT expenses for that period, for that amount of money, was £2,000. So that would be the VAT element only on fuel, hotels, ad blue, servicing. So if that came at £2,000 and you were doing £48,000, you're going to send the VAT man £4,800 and you're going to keep £3,200. So you're £1,200 better off over that period. Well, based on that, that's the reason I registered for VAT. I'm VAT registered as of uh, the start of the month and uh, we'll see how it goes. But you also need some kind of VAT accounting software. I've decided to go with Sage Accounts or Sage One. And that's what my accountant company uses, and they've got a pretty good deal per month. I think it's £12 a month, which, in my opinion, is no great shakes. Anyway, so I'll update more so later on as we go. All the very best.